Okay, this is a brief tutorial on making custom textures for use in uh, Radiant. Um, the process is similar for modifying existing textures, but uh, I'm just going to make one here. And I'm going to um, also show you how to do alpha channels, which adds transparency to the image. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this with black. Then I'm going to use a white paintbrush to draw what I want. Oops. And I deliberately want it to look sloppy and drawn. Okay, once you've done that, <clears throat> you're going to want to select anything that does not, that you do not want to be transparent, or if it's a easier, you can select what you do want to be transparent. And you go to channels, you click the new channel button down here, and you fill your selection. If you want it to not be transparent, you fill it with white, and if you want it to be transparent, you fill it with black, just like that. And the way you know you did it right is if you turn all the channels on, everything that's transparent is red, and everything that's not transparent is its normal color. So once you've done that, um, you want to um, file, save as, and you're going to need the DDS um, plugin. Well, you don't need it. You can use uh, JPG, but that doesn't support alpha channels, or you can use TGA but that doesn't support alpha channels so for transparency images you're going to want to use DDS so check the box that says alpha channels name your texture and then in this window that pops up um, you're going to want to select DXT5 or DXT3 either one and generate maps and the rest of it is default then click save then you're going to want to minimize that, and um, the next part involves Asset Manager, which I'm going to categorize differently, so that's the end of this part of the tutorial.